hello welcome back to another vlog it is tuesday um technically i guess the first day of work for most people in canada at least this year so welcome back hope you're having a lovely start to your work week um i've finished up kind of like some of the stuff i had for today so now i'm gonna head out and go buy some new nespresso pods and then i also have a return to make so i'm about to go do that and first i'll show you the fit it is very cold, but I'm also gonna be at the mall. So I've got Alps cardigan. These are jeans from Dynamite. They're the rosy, I really like them. They'd be good if you're a little shorter than me because they do leave like, I have a little bit of a gap with them. Those shoes are from Spring. This just scarf and then a wool coat. And that is the vibe. Can you see the rainbow? How cool is that? <laughs> Hello again. We have just done all of our shopping at the mall. I got a bunch of new Nespresso pods and what's cool about the machine we have is you can do like different sizes. So I got all the biggest sizes because <laughs> I need caffeine to function. Um, and one of them's supposed to make almost like a coffee pot full or something. I think it's like 500 milliliters. So that will be pretty great. And then went and did a return and then got some groceries. And then while we were out, we saw this really cool like vertical rainbow. And I don't know what it is. Ben is less interested in it than I <laughs> but if you know what it is let me know in the comments because I think it's so cool looking anyway now we're just driving home and it's like really pretty out but very cold Ooh. I have a little bit of work to finish up when I get home today and then otherwise that's gonna probably be that for right now these are these are the three types of pods I got. So these are the pour over style. They only had one flavor available for that, but it's supposed to be like a big, big boy. I got the Columbia because that was part of the sampler our machine came with and I like them. And then this is like a, a limited one, the forest almond, which sounds really good. I love almond flavored things. So that is them. Hello and welcome back to another day. It's Wednesday. A pretty quiet day so far. It just sounds like everybody is sick with you know what um, across kind of like my clients and like friend groups and everything. So <laughs> it seems sort of like there's not a whole lot going on. I've been trying to do that 12, 3, 30 workout. So what you do is you put your treadmill onto incline 12 and then you put on speed three and you do it for 30 minutes it's basically like going on a hike um i have not been able to complete it yet i did like 12 and then 10 and then five and then back to 12 so i'm gonna maybe try that again today because it was a really good workout like it's not super tiring in the sense that it's not like crazy cardio i guess um but my muscles got like pretty sore pretty quick and i think it would be great for the booty so <laughs> I'm gonna go and do that again. And then otherwise, it's been just like so cold outside and so nasty that we're starting to feel a little cabin fevery. But apparently after the next few days, it's supposed to get a little bit better. Here, I'm gonna show you my windows. Like, <laughs> look at this. It's winter inside too. I don't want that to like scare people off who are interested in moving to Calgary. I've had some of you comment that like you've been thinking of moving here. Yeah, it does get cold. Um, but that being said, I feel like it's usually not for too, too long. And I didn't find it too horrible my first year. But now that it's like my third, I think it's my third or fourth winter now. I can't, I don't remember. But now it's my third winter. I think I'm like getting the vibes. And because it's very dry, it's kind of fun. You can wear like wool coats, you can wear puffy coats. You have a lot more options than if you're somewhere like, um, say like a Vancouver where it's raining and you kind of need to wear like shells and stuff all the time and more like workout stuff. So I guess in that sense, it's kind of nice. <laughs> but trying to see the positives here of my uh, frozen windows. All the plants are mostly doing okay. A couple of them did get mold, which was really sad. And I think it's just because it's so humid, like they don't need to be watered basically at all right now. But this one behind me is like growing out of control. Like it's massive. I've had this for maybe three years and she's a beast. 
So that is me today. I'm still writing out a few of my goals for this year. And one that I am thinking a lot about is I really want to make a product and I have a couple in mind. I don't want to reveal them quite yet. Um, just in case I don't do them. <laughs> but Ben and I were talking a little bit about one of them last night and I think we're going to start experimenting soon. And I've always wanted to have a product or have a store or like something like that, but I want to do it in a way that's sort of um, manageable with like my other interests and other commitments as well. So that's something really exciting I've got on my goals list for this year. I also want to try to like almost double my income if I can. Um, so that's on there too. And then I've got some things like I really want to get my ears pierced. <laughs> um, I don't have pierced ears. I've never done it. So I had my like belly button pierced at one point and then I heard it was like a really terrible acupuncture point to get pierced and I freaked out and took it out. So <laughs> I really want to get my ears because I just think like gold hoops make everything so cute and I would wear my hair up more, I think. And then I've just got some other things on the list so far, like um, with ballet, I want to learn like a pirouette, um, which I think is doable for sure. And then I want to like have some savings goals and some bits like that. But once I have that a little more finalized, maybe I'll share some more. But I think that kind of gives you an idea of what I'm looking at. It's really a year where I'm hoping to just work within the current world and what we can do and what I can control, which are things like me creating things or me trying to like, like learn more in dance and things like that. And yeah, I'm just really curious how everyone's start of the year is going. It's been a little bit daunting here, honestly. And um, I just know I'm feeling very lucky to live in like a bigger place right now where things have more or less stayed open so far. But let me know it's like where you are. How's it going? <laughs> are you finding ways to like keep yourself entertained? Because honestly, winter is so boring. I'm gonna go check if my project here is ready to go and then probably go hit the gym. We'll see how the day goes. I wanted to share also those pods I was showing. I got at Nespresso yesterday. So these ones, which are the forest variations, and this is like the almond one. So good. I love this. It really smells like, you know, like a marzipan kind of smell. Um, and I'm honestly wired. <laughs> so I really love those. And so far, I'm just loving this machine better than like the, the littler pod type machine. So we love. Going to the gym. Um, oh, this might sound really weird because I have headphones in, so I apologize. And I've got this mask <laughs> on. The project I'm waiting on hasn't come in. This can sometimes be freelancing. You're just kind of like waiting a lot. So I'm going to the gym. I'm taking the time. I'm going to do it. Ooh, it's cool. Hi, friends. I have ended up outside. Why, you ask? <laughs> A series of unfortunate events. I found out Marc Jacobs Beauty is like more or less discontinued or so it seems. They have this really good skin product that's for like texture and it's amazing and they have it at Winners and I can't buy it online anymore. So I'm going over now because I have a minute to see if they still have any left. I think it's called Youth Quake. That's what it is. And I just want to see if they have any left and if I can stock up because it's like been such a game changer for me over this past these past couple weeks. So now I'm outside in like minus 26. My hand is already frozen holding this camera up. Um, and I'm gonna see if they have any. And don't wish me luck. <laughs> oh my gosh, I look wind burnt. <laughs> I was out there for like five minutes each way. Um, I was sort of successful. I found one. They're only 10 bucks right now. So I'm gonna keep hunting and maybe check another winners. Um, because they're just lovely. I really like this stuff. It doesn't really help if you can't find it, but if you do see it in a winner's, I recommend. Um, but it's freezing out, that sucked. So <laughs> I need more layers and like all this red is just from the cold. <laughs> Back at the usual spot, our friends are just getting their drinks right now. And uh, we're ordering burritos, which I'm very excited about. It always feels nice to just be like back somewhere familiar. And this is the coat that I got from Aritzia that I want to get tailored, but I'm actually like kind of not minding the shoulders. So I might not rush on that. Cheers. I feel so uncomfortable. 
encumbered by all the layers in winter. Does anyone else feel like I feel like I can't function when I have so many layers on? Good morning. Happy Thursday. The first week of the year is almost done. It's definitely been like very up in the air. I saw someone I know today posting that they were saying like the new year starts today, not Monday, and I agree. <laughs> So last night was really fun. We went to Old Beautiful with a couple of our friends. It was freezing cold out, so we Ubered there and back, which was the best call. <laughs> I tried to walk just like five minutes yesterday and I was so cold. Um, hopefully the cold snap is ending soon. It looks like it, but we had a lot of fun. We all just like had a couple beers, caught up all about the holidays, um, what's going on this year. I have a few friends starting like new jobs. Uh, so that was really nice to catch up on. And then we came back and made delicious BLTs. And then that was pretty much the night. And then today I've got two different podcasts that I'm working on. One is one that recently started, um, but it's like pretty simple to turn it around. So that one I'm kind of halfway through right now and it should be done pretty soon. And then the other one is something totally new for me and new for the client as well. So um, just trying to figure all of that out, which is fun, but I'm running into a couple of roadblocks. So I need to work on that and uh, chat with them a little bit more. So that's kind of been what I'm doing. I do like audio and video editing. Audio is obviously much easier. <laughs> Whereas video, just depending on like how many components a client wants and like how complex they want it, um, it just gets a little tougher. Anyway, we'll get it sorted out. And then otherwise, um, I'm just gonna see how this all goes. It's already like the early afternoon right now um, and not too much else planned. Today looks colder than it's been, so I'm not going outside again. <laughs> I won't do it. If you're in Calgary, how have you been doing this past week? Are you getting cabin fever? I feel like I'm so, I'm like so bored, but I'm also like, I don't wanna go anywhere. Last night it was nice to like get out of the apartment for sure, but mm. so that's all been fun. I'm still a little bit sore from the gym yesterday, but I think after I finish up this podcast, I'm going to go down and do another little workout. I just always feel so much better mentally, physically, everything when I'm working out. And the biggest thing I could feel my body craving like all of December was just like going and doing a big workout. And I find for like anxiety or just like my general mood, it's like the best possible thing I can do. So I just need to go do it. The thing I'm finding tricky is like our gym and our building is open, but nobody's wearing masks. And like when I went in yesterday, it was really full. So I kept mine on, but like that doesn't really help if like no one else is wearing them. So I think that I'm just finding it a little tricky because like everybody is sick right now. Um, because like just so many people are sick right now so I don't know but we are very fortunate that it's open when we first moved into this building the gym wasn't open for almost a year and we were like why did we move here because I moved from a building that had a gym that was still open I also think I've got a couple of packages that have come in so I want to do a little bit of like a mini haul perhaps at some point maybe tomorrow depending on how like lighting goes because I think I'm going to lose the sun here pretty quick Anyway, that is that. I'm going to get back, get this finished, get this sent off, and then probably go do a little workout and then dive into kind of like the next <laughs> problem once my brain can handle it all. This feels super cozy. It's, I think, like a fisherman kind of style sweater. I thought it was gonna be a little bit of a rougher fabric, but I love this blue. I feel like bright colors like this are gonna be so on trend this year. Love it. This is what I spent last night doing. I have fully organized this closet with all my coats. So I've got puffy coats. These are all like wool coats and then kind of like lighter coats and then bends are all over here. It was so messy before. So this is your sign to go organize your coats. I forgot that my car is literally full of crap. Oh no. 
I have a return to go make the mall and today seems like a good day to do it. My car is so dirty from our trip to BC so I forgot about that and then I forgot that I have like a standing desk and like a mini fridge in my car right now. Stupid. <laughs> I've made it to the mall. The roads are terrible but it was actually better than the last time I was at winter driving which was before we went to Kelowna and it pretty much gave me a mental breakdown so I'm feeling good. <laughs> Um, only slid a little bit once and so it is what it is but I'm here because I've just got a return to make and then I think the plan is I might have work coming in again freelance life you're not quite sure <laughs> so I'm gonna check that when I get home and if not I want to start filming some videos on this channel that aren't just vlogs because um, I think it'd be a nice chance to kind of get to know me a little better and get to know each other a little bit better and a way that I can kind of show some more kind of things and what I'm up to in a way that's maybe just a little bit more helpful than having to kind of like consecutively watch all of the vlogs. My hair just looks so dry. If anyone has like a really good oil, I feel like I need something. The mall was fun not too busy in there which is always good. I did my return. It was a sweater from Dynamite that I had just impulse bought and I'm trying to do less of that and I really want to like curate a nice collection of clothing that actually like works together. I'm never gonna be a capsule girl. I am too much of a maximalist at this point. Maybe later, who knows. But uh, I showed a clip earlier of like my coats all rearranged so I want like all my coats to be really simple. I want my closet to be more simple I just have like too much stuff and honestly over the pandemic I like over shopped on a lot of just like impulse buys so I'm really trying to only buy things now that are like really good quality that I'm gonna have for a long time um, and I'm trying to be a little bit more ruthless about things so like the sweater I could have kept it it was okay but it wasn't like dazzling me so it's gone um, I picked up some chocolates from Purdy's because I just think I've been craving them. I didn't get any chocolates for Christmas and a few other people around me had them and I was like, oh my gosh. So <laughs> I went and got some. And then I went into Wilfred and tried on some different pants. I really want like a cream pair of pants. They have these beautiful cargo pants that they only had in like a couple size bigger sizes too big for me. Um, and I did like them. I find being tall, pants are often short, but I think if they were fitting in the waist, it would look good. And then I tried on like a wide leg pair. So I tried on the Maeve. And then the other ones, I think, I can't remember the name. I'll probably like link them below if I remember, but they're both like beautiful cream colored pants. I love both of them. They're not on sale or anything right now. And it is still like gross and snowy and muddy out. So it's not the time anyway, but I think that's something I've added them to my list and I'll like look back. And then I did order a pair of the effortless pants. I tried them on, on like a size down. I'm hoping it's just one size down. I could probably go even two sizes up from what I tried on, but they had one size up available online and I just want to try them because they don't often go on sale and I really like the flannel like plaid ones and I think those would be such a staple. I'm so like bored of like just plain jeans. Um, so I'm trying to get like a cream pair of pants and a plaid pair of pants and that's kind of like the plan right now. But they were a little short, so I don't know if the six is gonna work, but it, I decided like if it doesn't work, I can take it back for store credit and then I could get like those cream pants maybe like next month or something. So I think that's the plan. I'm gonna head home now. I'm getting really hungry. Um, ben had a meeting, so I ran out partially to give him the house or the apartment. And uh, now I'm gonna head back and I'm gonna start prepping for my YouTube video I'm gonna film and I'm gonna clean out my closet a bit more. That's fine. Oh my gosh, it looks so empty without the Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas is over. <laughs> um, I am back. I've changed because I just filmed a video for this channel that's going to be part of a new series I do. So it's like a sit down chatty type video and uh, I think it's gonna be really fun. That video is going to be coming out later this month. Maybe this sweater is like a hint. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas what it is. <laughs> um, and if you haven't, subscribe to this channel if you want to be notified when it goes live. I'm posting like once to twice a week on this channel and I would so appreciate you coming and joining the family. I am about to wrap this vlog up, but before I go, I filmed a little bit of an unboxing. So I'm just going to add that in here. Hello, welcome to my bedroom. A little something came in the mail. 
Um, I'm gonna show you what I got. I got, this it looks like a lot, but it's two things. The first one, as if I need more sweaters. So I got this because honestly, this is the most unique shade of pink I have seen. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. It feels lovely. I got it because it kind of is like the color of my lips and I figured that might be a nice pink on me. A lot of pink really washes me out or doesn't look very good. I like like vibrant, jewel tone, those kind of colors. Um, and I feel like this type of pink yeah, I think it's gonna be lovely. That's a medium, so she's very oversized, which I adore. And it is the Gianna Rodon Pink, if you're looking. It was a little bit of an investment, so I'm glad it feels nice, but I'm gonna go try that on and see if we're still loving it. Maybe I'll try it on for you in a second. And then this is the last thing I needed, truly. I have to be honest, this one was, I wouldn't say an impulse buy, but like, it was one where I was kind of looking at Ben and I was like, do I, don't I? And then I went and tried it on in person and he really liked it. And I was like, uh, okay, this will complete my collection. So this guy is a beautiful little coat. <laughs> It's gorgeous. Okay, so you saw that I recently bought two wool coats. One was a plaid one that's like mid-length and then the green slouch coat by Aritzia, which is like to the floor almost. This is oh, the only coat short. I think it's called the shorty, doesn't say. And it's like a hip-ish length, beautiful, stunning. And why I got this, I love the long one. It's very warm, it's beautiful, but sometimes like if you're just getting in and out of the car, or you're running errands, it is a bit of much. I got this one because it's beautiful. I love caramel coats. I don't have any that are warm. And it's just like right past your bum. You can see, I think in the mirror there too. And I just absolutely love it. This is the size two, it's oversized. I like that because I can put like a few layers under here. And I feel like because the shoulders fit, it doesn't end up being too bulky. So for reference, as usual, I'm usually like size six, eight at Aritzia. I can like squeeze into a four um, and I'm about five, eight, almost five, nine. So <laughs> what a pose. And I'll show you this pink one too. Okay, I think I'm in love. I do have like a lip product on right now, but it's pretty close to like my lip color. And I think as far as a pink would go on me, this is like, this is the pink. I'm really glad I got this. I never see this color anywhere. If you see it, let me know. But like, I always see like baby pink or hot pink. And I was like, where's the like, where's the like blue toned pink? <laughs> so this is her and it's pretty long. Again, you might be able to see in the mirror. Uh, easily past my butt if I want, or I could like crop it up. I love it. It's very soft, very cozy, 100% recommend. Okay, and we're back. I hope that was fun to watch. I am like absolutely obsessed and stunned and mesmerized by those pieces. I really love that pink sweater and that coat is just gonna be like so perfect for slightly warmer weather than we're having now, but it's gonna be such a staple. So with that, I hope you've enjoyed hanging out this week, hanging out on this vlog, and kind of seeing me somewhat struggle through the first week of the year. I think next week things are gonna pick up a little bit more, but again, like that freelancing life, sometimes you just don't know what's coming and uh, where things are going. So I just try to like go with the flow, enjoy the process, and uh, hopefully it's kind of fun to watch me sort of finding my way here. I'll probably be filming again either tomorrow or in a couple days. I think this weekend's honestly just gonna be pretty like boring and chill. Uh, so once maybe I'm like able to go outside and it's a little warmer and I can do things, I'll pick it back up. But for tonight, I'm gonna go edit up this vlog, start editing up the new video that I'm starting and then uh, that's probably going to be the vibe. I hope you are having a lovely start to the year. Um, and even if it's tough, 
just remember, it's just another day. It's just another year. Um, don't take it too seriously. But if you're like me and you're very motivated by like fresh starts and new beginnings, I hope you're feeling that energy and that you're um, giving yourself space and time to really like savor this moment and enjoy this little surge of energy that we get so infrequently. <laughs> So that is all of that. Anyway, I'm going to catch you in the next vlog. I've also got ballet starting up again. So we're going to be kind of back on track, I think. And uh, there's lots of fun stuff coming. So I'll catch you then. Thanks again for watching. Bye.